Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, and today we'll be reviewing the HSGI drop leg panel. So, I already taken the buckles off, they go around the loops, and we'll get around to that, but a little bit of a, little bit of, let's talk about why this is even a thing, so. The whole reason I even thought about getting a drop leg panel, despite the fact that it's not terribly effective in any sort of combat operations or anything, is it's great for the range, if you don't want to wear a battle belt or a plate carrier or anything crazy, you still want to carry mags on it. And it was pretty highly recommend. It was pretty highly recommended as far as stars go. And yes, this is the same sort of leg panel that uh, Chris Costa wears. Cool guy, but uh, that's that's not the reason I got it. So the whole actually mentality for why I got this is because I am a huge XCOM nerd. Because I like to get salty when I miss 95% shots, 95% chance to hit shots. So. All that being said, the cool thing, at least for the first XCOM that I always found interesting, was they are all this different armor and everything, so the only place left to really store magazines is on the thigh. So I thought, hey, that's kind of cool. I'll get that, I'll get my BDS magazine pouches, I'll put three of them on there, and I'll look really cool. Well, it does look cool, but it's not the most mobile, which is why it's not a common thing to be seen. It's an okay idea, I guess, but... Anyway, so we got Chris Costa and XCOM and all that cool stuff out of the way. And so basically, let's get into the review. So, covering the panel itself, you've got six across the top and then double spaced three on the side. So, I've actually got these uh, 40 millimeter shower grenade shells mounted on here in a Spec Ops triple shell holder. Now, the reason I did this is because shower shell grenades aren't something you're going to use terribly often. In fact, I have them, and they're fun to grenade spam with, but actually hitting someone with them in most situations is going to be a pain. You can spam areas, but generally they're more of a harassment weapon that no one wants to really get shot with. So the only reason you'd really carry them with you, particularly with a fun-filled grenade launcher, is to scare people. So that's the only thing I really have it set for. So I could mount this over my normal gear, pop three bits of grenade spam, and see what happens. So basically... So you, you mount this, you want to mount relatively high on the leg, because the lower it is, the more the weight's going to interfere with your natural movement, and it's going to slow you down and cause other problems. And it's got this fun little mesh sort of set to help with breathability, and this stiffening white foam pad for a backing. I guess to add padding so that if the magazines or anything bash into your leg or whatnot, they don't cause a lot of uh, discomfort and problems, So The downside, and this is a bit of a dick downside, is if you've already had a good, good friend of yours send you some Cry Precision trousers, they have a built-in magazine pocket. So if I was going to carry extra ammo, I could already carry an extra magazine on this leg without any additional gear problems. So, let's see it. So I have this uh, granite gear battle belt. I'm not actively using it at the moment because I found a uh, more efficient way to carry all my gear. So, for this, these little straps, they basically have their pads and everything, and basically you tighten them up to where they fit comfortably on your battle belt. And then you're gonna end up with this fun tail, so... It's not easy to do with the belt already on, but here, I'll at least take one off so I can show you. This is a uh, kind of a big deal, so... Come on, don't you fight me. I mean, you can't fight me, but... So basically, these two tails are gonna look like this, and you pull the strap through to make it nice and tight so that the buckle sits comfortably. And you want to sit relatively high, as I mentioned, for purposes of not getting yourself killed because you can't move, and general comfort, but we're going to get into the problems caused as well. Now, it does give us a tail, which is the first fun thing. So this little tail hangs off if you don't tighten that up, so that's fun, something to keep in mind. So all you got to do is now I'm going to lose the access to this pocket, but we mount this in through here, give this clip, take the second one that's way back here for whatever reason, clip that in place, and yeah, this front one's way too loose. Technical difficulties, stuff to, you know, look out for. Make sure your stuff's together. So once that's together, take this last clip, wrap it around the leg, and boom. So. We've now rapidly attached a 40 millimeter grenade carrier. So, lost access to this magazine. Don't have a handgun on this side, so I still have access to a magazine that could be in this pocket. 
But yeah, for simple basics, this is cool. So if you have your double magazine pouches, you can go bang, 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 mag, dump pouch, new mag, load, all set. So, awesome. Now the downside is, which is why I have the camera set at this weird angle, is that when you're crouching down, this is going to pop up quite a bit, especially if it's sitting high. Now you could have it sit lower, but that's just going to cause more problems, and honestly I think it's going to cause more problems than it's worth, but tailor your gear to your mission. It's really on you. This is personal preference for what I'm, what I'm seeing with it, so this is cool. It can get in the way of plate carriers and stuff, it does bunch up quite a bit, but not too bad, and I still have access to three grenades. But the pistol mags, where I carry any, are going to be conflicting, for lack of a better word with this whole leg holster now. If I swap legs, less of a problem, but now if I need to do anything on the right leg, a bit of a pain. So, the benefit, however, and exactly why I have only these grenades on here, is in the off chance that I'm like, hey, these guys are, green, are greenhorn scrubs, let's go do some damage, you take a grenade launcher, which for most people not a big deal, but getting shot with a single BB Unpleasant getting shot with 120, not a lot of people like it. So this is predominantly intimidation would be what we're going for. So we get into a position, we go, hey, let's spam this corner. In most Japanese fields, ricochet shots don't count. So not as effective. Let's just say I want to make sure that with 120 BBs, if it's a ricochet or a direct hit, you're going to have a hard time knowing. So lean around corner, go boom, boom, damage done, dump pouch. So move on, get to the next one. Same plan, grenade goes in, and then we're done. Dump pouch. So we get to our third grenade. We go, okay, let's cause some more damage. Put this in here, go boom. All right, so the grenade sounds more like but you get the idea. And we're gonna get dump pouch this one. My BBs are falling out. It's unpleasant, to say the least. So, okay, boom. We're out of grenades. So I have grenades, and this thing is still taking up space and getting in the way. And so we gotta make a mad dash. I just weight and bulk that's just in the way I don't like it. So all you gotta do, and this is the nice part, is one clip, two clip, three clip, drop. And we're free. We now have a free leg, we can run again, uninhibited. So how do I feel overall? Well, if you have to have a drop leg panel for some reason, especially if you're just going to the range. And the extent of your goal is not to wear any fancy gear and to just throw on a quick leg panel so you can go bang, 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 reload, bang, bang, reload. Great. Fantastic. I mean, especially if you're probably going to be doing speed shooting or competition. Absolutely phenomenal. Good stuff. Amazing. You can do all sorts of fantastic things with this leg panel. However, my goal and the things I'm doing is going to be focused more on, well, let's, let's go with realism. This is what I'm going for, so... Not, just, not so much like competitions are bad, I do like competitions, but our, our goal here is to have a very realistic build and we're just going to be going out to play airsoft. So airsoft wise, I mean you could carry like two mags and be perfectly fine on most games, but I've got the play carry and everything else because with the hopes that it's never something needed for a more realistic scenario, it's good stuff to have so you can, in the event that if things go to south basically, is what I'm getting at. So. With all that set up, it's nice, but it's not going to do the more hardcore operator awesomeness that I need to have taken care of, so good regardless, however, not something I'm going to need. But if all you're looking for is to do some range stuff or have fun with a leg panel, awesome. This is probably the best leg panel you're going to be able to buy with your money. But in the but in other, other sense, I'd probably just stick to mounting everything on a belt or a chest rig or both. So. That's all I got for you. That's kind of my thoughts on it. I'm sure other people feel differently. It is five star rated. I'm not disagreeing with that on Amazon. I think it's fantastic. Just, uh, you know, tailor your gear to your mission. If it's something you feel like you can use, awesome. For me, probably, uh, probably not going to be my first go-to thing, but you can modify it in a bunch of different ways and it's nice to have. So in the event that, I don't know, let's say World War or whatever breaks out, and all you have is a rifle and some magazines and no fancy gear. The fastest, the most effective thing you could probably get is going to be a leg rig. So, that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to hit me up. I'll respond to this in my ability. It's a cool leg rig. 
I do like it, so let me know what you guys think. But generally, it's just uh, just not going to be for me. Although, plus side made in the USA. So that's all I got for you guys. Stay chivalrous, everyone. Cheers.